Hey there, my name is Matthew Peterson. I'm a trainer at Pragmatic Works. And I wanted to bring to you this week an issue that came across during one of our training sessions. Uh, I was helping out um, a group of students and we were learning about how to use the Power Query Editor. We we're talking about if you need to get rid of duplicate records of some kind, how do you do that? You go to your column or columns, uh, you do a right click and you just say remove duplicates. Uh, whether you're building out a dimensional table or whatever the, the scenario is for you that you might need to do that. And they said, great. Well, I had one of my students go home that night, start working on a Power BI report, and she came back the next morning and said, Matt, it didn't work. Uh, a lot of my duplicate records were removed, but there were a few that actually were not. I was seeing doubles of them. And I said, well, that doesn't make sense. You know, send me your file. Let me take a look at it. Um, and after just a few minutes of, of looking at it, I'm like, yeah, you're right. It, it wasn't working. Uh, I said, you know what, there might be a little minor bug in the background. And I said, you know what that bug might be? It might be the data itself of how it was entered in. And this is where the trim function uh, in the Power Query Editor can really help you out. So let's take a look at what her issue was and how this might help be a good best practice to use in any of your future Power BI reports. So let's take a look at what the issue was and how we're actually going to fix it. So I've made some play data here, and <clears throat> I was the goal was I wanted to get rid of all duplicate records. I only wanted my name of my employee and their projected earnings to only show up once based on their status reports. And as you can obviously see right here, uh, Jack Peterson has been listed twice. So how do we need to fix this? What was the issue? So I'm going to show you what the data actually looks like. So when I come in, this is the table that I was concerned about, this member earnings. Uh, and we have the name, status report date, projected earnings, etc. And I only wanted to see them listed once. And so I come over, I do a right click and remove duplicates. Now, obviously for us, I can see that it was not removed. Uh, Jack Peterson is listed twice here. But think about if you have you know, hundreds of thousands of rows, it's going to be really hard to tell that. I made this a very simple demonstration file so that we could see it uh, right away. And hopefully you can see what the issue is. For the member ID, which is where I did the remove duplicates, the way that this data was entered, whoever entered it in, myself, put a leading white space in front. And so when we remove duplicates, that's the reason it didn't happen because space 26 looks completely different than just 26 itself. So how do we fix this? Well, the way that we need to fix this is <clears throat> before I do my remove duplicate step, over here on the member ID, I'm going to right click and say, let's trim this. So under the transform, the trim column uh, or trim statement, we're going to say, let's trim. So now it has been trimmed. Now I will remove duplicates. And now I'm only getting one record that is unique. You might be saying, Matt, how, how do you know, like, what if you had a issue where you wanted to keep, um, if you take a look at the duplicates that we removed and the ones that were kept, this is always reverting to the earliest uh, record that was associated with them. Is there a way to actually change that and have the most recent? Uh, and there is, and if you take a look in the comments below, that was a video I did last week about uh, someone who wanted to remove duplicates but only keep the most recent record. So if you're interested in that, take a look below in the comments section and I'll, I'll uh, post the link to the video I did last week. But for now, the whole goal of this was to show you that if you have that leading white space, it will mess up in terms of if you're trying to remove duplicates. So that was a really quick fix for her. So in the future, if you're ever trying to remove duplicates, I always recommend before you do your remove duplicate step, go to that column that you're going to do it on and do a trim because that will help in terms of making sure things match up. And as I was thinking about her problem, I also remembered another time where if you have that leading white space, things are not going to be helpful. So I'm going to take a look right back before we did all this trim text. Another place where this issue will come up of having the leading white space is if you're trying to do a merge on two different tables. So for example, let's say I have this HR data and I want to bring in uh, the, the higher date, which is not on my member earnings table currently. So if I come over to the HR, to the member earnings, and I come over to the home ribbon, and I'm going to do a merge queries, 
I'm gonna say, you know what, I want to come over, get an extra column from the HR uh, table. And I want you to find a match based on member ID. So member ID, member ID. And then I will say I want it to be entered because I want the member IDs to match up. And then you bring over that column. So I'm gonna click on OK. Now notice it only brought over member ID 26 for Jack Peterson. Why is that? Well, the reason is if I come over to our HR table, notice that here for Molly Browning, I have another leading white space in front of member ID. So it is not finding that match because if we come back to the member earnings table and we take a look at Molly Browning, Molly Browning always has just the 8-2. There is no leading white space. You might be saying, well, then how did Jack Peterson uh, show up there? Well, in here, remember, I do have one record for Jack Peterson, which is per picture perfect, where there is no leading white space. So that's why it was able to find the match. So if I wanted to make this picture perfect to where I always wanted to make sure that the data, even if someone messed up by putting a leading white space, whether before or whatever, how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna to come to my member ID. Let's get rid of our merge query step and let's do the full best practice. So whatever columns I'm trying to do a merge on, I want to trim the leading white space. So I'm gonna do a right click. We're gonna to come to the transform and we're gonna trim it. And then I'm gonna to go to the other table. So not just one, do it on both. The other table, right click. We're gonna to come to a transform and then we are going to trim it. Now let's see what happens when we do the merge. So on member earnings, gonna come on up to our home ribbon, merge queries, and we're gonna bring on the HR. If we want it to match up based on member ID, when I go to enter only, all right, we click on okay. And notice what we have here now. Now every time that it saw the two six, the two six, the eight two, the eight two, we should have, look at that, we have four actual results because they could actually find the 2.6 and the 8.2 in the HR table itself. So we now know that the trim function is not just for making sure that your visuals look good uh, in terms of getting rid of that leading white space, but it is a must in terms of making sure that when you get rid of duplicates or you do a merge, if there is any white space within the leading characters of your column of data that you are working on, it will not work the way that you were hoping it to work if the white space is there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, like below. Let me know what you want to see in the future, and I'll see you in the next one.